Young love is such a piece of cake, so sweet but gone so fast. Wouldn't it be great to use your own Polaroid photos to create this creative video you just saw here? Well, today we'll be giving you a simple yet detailed tutorial on how to create a video. So if you're interested, free download of Video Pro Vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. And dig in with us. Launch your software. Create a new project. Import a Polaroid photo and camera image you have prepared. Then, find this icon. Change your default black background to a more vintage color. Click on Done to return to the main interface. First, we click the plus icon on the overlay track to add a new track. Then, drag in the camera picture to the new track. Adjust the duration. Click on the height in the inspector to make it fit to the screen. Then adjust position to make it stay at the bottom of the screen. Then I want to change the color of the camera to match your background. So we find the color icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Since the color of the camera is green, let's scroll down to HSL panel. Take the green color. Adjust the hue value. Then adjust the saturation and pull up and adjust the overexposure. Now the color is changed. Click apply to return to the main interface. Then find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to enter the motion editor panel. Select the move down preset here. Now you can see that there are two keyframes generated automatically. We click on the first keyframe first. Adjust the box and select the whole camera. Then, we drag it outside the screen until it goes black. Then click on the second keyframe. Adjust the frame to select the entire camera. And then move this keyframe forward a little bit, so that the whole effect does not move too slow. Let's preview the result. Pretty nice. Well, now we have the camera pull out effect. Now we drag the Polaroid photo to the overlay track. Adjust the duration. To add the effect of the photo being pulled out from the camera, we click on the motion icon. Here we select the move down preset. Similarly, we click on the first keyframe. Adjust the box to select the whole photo. Then drag it out of the screen until it goes black. Then click on the second keyframe. Adjust the frame to select the whole picture. Then move this keyframe forward a little bit to make sure the whole effect does not move too slow. Click apply to return to the main interface. Now, let's continue to adjust the size and the position of this photo to make it fit more laterally with the camera. Now we have the photo pulled out effect. Next, drag the Polaroid photo to the overlay track again. Adjust this duration. Again, click on the motion icon. This time, we choose a zoom rotate preset. And again, adjust the frame size of the first keyframe. You can adjust it by using the frame control. And adjust the frame size of the second keyframe. Change your rotation value as you see fit. Add a speed curve to it. This will make the effect smoother. When you are done, don't forget to add a keyframe at the last frame to keep the frame in this state. 
click Apply to Apply Adjustment. Next, we adjust the size and the position of this photo to make it fit more laterally with the previous photo. And at last, don't forget to select the camera image when you are done. Find Fade and Move in Inspector. Add Fade Out Effect to it. Drag the slider to adjust the duration. And that's it! Let's take a look at the effect. We now select the proper music and import it into the software. Drag it to the audio track. Use a split tool to cut out the unwanted parts. And adjust the value a little bit. This will make the video look more textured. You can also import a photo coming out sound effect. We add a new audio track. Drag it to a proper position. Adjust the duration. Well, in addition to that, I also want to add a date stamp here. So we click on the text icon. Adjust it to align with music. Then, we go to the inspector, add the text content. Choose the right font. Adjust the size of the text. Click on Show or High Layer Rectangle to adjust the position. Then click on the color box to choose a suitable color. You can also scroll down to adjust the parameters. And don't forget to add a fading animation when you're done. Well, that's it. Young love is such a piece of cake So sweet but gone so fast Alright, that's all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with video pro vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.